Black holes are one of the most mysterious things in the universe. They can be seen from space, but they're so tiny that we can't really see them with our own eyes. And yet, they have such a huge impact on everything around them. They suck up matter and light, which makes them grow. So what happens when a black hole gets too big? Will they destroy everything? In this video, we'll explain what it would mean if black holes get too big and what we might need to do to keep us safe from them. First, let's talk about what black holes are. They're regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape, not even light. The gravity is so strong because there's a lot of matter in the region. In fact, black holes are formed from the death of very massive stars. The collapse of their outer shells causes them to become extremely dense and form a singularity. The study of black holes is a vibrant and fast moving field. From the study, we know that there are two types of black holes, stellar mass and supermassive. Stellar mass black holes form when the core of a massive star collapses, and these range from 3 to 30 solar masses. While the supermassive black holes form in the center of galaxies, where they grow by swallowing stars, gas, and dust. The supermassive black hole called LIGO black hole at the center of our galaxy is 4 million times the mass of our sun. Yes, you heard that right. The first black hole was discovered in 1974 by astronomers, and since then, scientists have been trying to figure out what happens when these massive objects get too big. Black holes bring in matter and grow, but eventually, they reach a balance with the matter around them. However, astronomers see signs that black holes might be getting bigger and bigger over time, but it's still unclear how this could happen. You should know that black holes are so dense that nothing can escape them. Yes, not even a single particle or atom. Although the only way for a black hole to grow is by absorbing matter and energy from the surrounding area. This process is called accretion, and it's similar to how a star forms by collapsing gas clouds in space. This usually happens when stars orbit too close to the black hole. The black hole in turn pulls material off of the stars in such scenarios. A particularly massive black hole could eventually destroy its galaxy if it grows larger than all the stars combined. This process is called quasar activity. Quasars are distant galaxies and appear extremely luminous because their supermassive black holes spew forth enormous amounts of radiation. Quasars are said to be powered by black holes. Furthermore, Scientists believe that quasars are the brightest and most energetic objects in the universe and that they're also super massive, which makes them a good way to study black holes and how they grow over time. To further these findings, scientists believe that there is a limit to how much mass a black hole can hold. Once it hits its maximum, the black hole will explode and disintegrate, sending out matter and energy in all directions. This process could continue forever, until all of the matter in the universe is burned into radiation, which would spread out across space at uniform temperature, and the universe would then be a uniform, featureless expanse of cold radiation with no structure or matter left behind. This phenomenon is known as the Big Freeze. When this happens, the universe will keep expanding until it reaches a point of maximum entropy where it will stop and remain empty forever. The Big Freeze is one big terrifying thought. It literally means that no matter how much we try to slow down entropy, it will always win in the end. The universe will eventually become so large and empty that even light can't escape from it, leaving us with nothing but darkness and cold. What scientists don't know is how long this process would take. So we could say it could be thousands of years, or it could be billions of years. Another way which black holes can destroy space is through the decay of orbits. As the black hole gets larger, it drags more and more matter into itself. 
This means that any stars or planets orbiting it would eventually be pulled in as well. When this happens, those objects lose energy and begin to orbit the black hole closer and closer until they finally fall inside of it. The process of this star destruction is called spaghettification, not your spaghetti bologna though. The name comes from a fact that when a star is being pulled into a black hole, its matter stretches out at the ends like spaghetti. It becomes thinner and thinner until it finally breaks apart into individual atoms. In this way, black holes can destroy space by slowly pulling everything into them. Black holes can also cause tidal disruption and destruction, which would destroy planets and stars. When a black hole passes near a star, the gravity of the black hole pulls on the star. This can cause tidal disruption in which parts of the star are ripped off by gravity and pulled into the black hole. These tidal disruptions are common when a black hole passes near a star. The process of tidal disruption is similar to the way in which tides on Earth pull and destroy sandcastles, except that in this case, the tidal forces pull and destroy the entire planets or stars. Tidal disruption also causes bursts of energy that can destroy planets and asteroids which are in its path. Another way black holes may pose a serious threat is that they can mess with time. You heard right, it is so powerful it can mess with time. Black holes warp time and space, so that if one were to come near Earth, it could disrupt the way that time passes on this planet. Black holes can also cause time dilation, which is the slowing of time. They can stretch time, making it seem to move more slowly near the black hole, or squeeze time into a tiny fraction of what it should be. This occurs because anything that passes through a black hole's event horizon experiences a strong gravitational pull. The closer anything gets to the center of a black hole, the stronger this gravitational pull becomes until it reaches its maximum strength at the singularity point. This is because they distort the fabric of space and time itself. And before we continue, if you're new here, we just want to say we love you and that you're the real MVP today. So click on that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to get notified whenever we upload a video. Back to our discussion. Theoretically, if a black hole is large enough and has no matter nearby to absorb it, it will emit a particle. This process is called Hawking radiation. This was named after the physicist who discovered it in 1975. Hawking radiation is produced by quantum effects near the event horizon of a black hole. The energy of the radiation depends on how heavy and fast the particle is, how many particles are produced and in what way, and how much time has passed since it was emitted. Moreover, Hawking radiation doesn't actually destroy a black hole, it just makes it smaller over time. That sounds like a relief, right? When Hawking radiation persists, a black hole would become so small that they will disappear completely through a process that's called evaporation. When a black hole disappears from our galaxy, this is supposed to be good news, yeah? Well. I'll let you decide that. The disappearance of a black hole can cause a tremendous amount of energy to be released and this can lead to a burst of light, which can be seen from Earth as a gamma ray burst, more like a shockwave in space. The shockwave can travel at the speed of light and cause all kinds of interesting effects. It's possible that one of these effects is the destruction and creation of new stars, planets, and even life. This would beg the ultimate question. Can black holes be destroyed? Black holes, as far as anyone knows, cannot be destroyed. To the best of our understanding, the only method to destroy a black hole is to dump negative energy density matter into it, and such matter cannot possibly exist in our universe. Therefore, the only method for a black hole to die is via Hawking radiation which is also problematic because any decent sized black hole absorbs more radiation from the microwave background than it emits. So it may wind up increasing rather than decreasing. Black holes are dangerous, but that doesn't mean it will destroy everything though. As of today, the life-threatening risk of black holes is not fully understood, 
but the damage they could cause is established to be quite enormous. Well, at the very least, it would be a very interesting journey to witness being sucked into a black hole, but no one knows what's inside or if there is another side to it that exists. Do you think it's worth wishing for?